Why hello there and welcome back to the mountain village. Since last time I got a couple rupees, I'm gonna need them in the near future. So, otherwise we will head up to the snowhead. Oh yeah. It's fun because we get to do stunts like this and other stupid things. By the way, as for the snowballs coming, you can smash them if you time it properly. Unlike me. Kind of like this. Yes. There's also a hard piece in this area, but we can't get to it at the moment. We will need to come back here eventually. Oh, come on. There was another one right beside... Oh, man. Now, it's entirely possible to just run up that entire hill in the Goron Spring form. But... Oh well. The hard piece, by the way, I think... Yeah, it's the first day. Might. Huh. The temple guard is gone. By the way, the um, hard piece being over there, best reach from where the bat is. Just saying. I don't want to... Well, that was kind of pointless. Hmm. Well, first things first. We have another owl statue. And you know what that means? It means we will return to the mock village immediately because we have things to do there. Yeah. I know this doesn't seem to make much sense, but really the only really the only reason I came up here for is to activate that freaking owl statue. Now let's go to the blacksmiths. Because really who ever wants to take a sword with him when he goes to a temple? Sure. And that's what I got the 100 rupees for. And that's a darn shame because it looks awesome and I would like to have it for always. Oh well. And by he is off to work he means Gaborra is doing all the work. And we don't have a sword anymore until morning. That looks silly, you know that? <laughs> oh well, they are busy and we need to head to the Snowhead Mountain without a sword. I like never do this temple with a sword, really. And really, I don't think you need a sword in any other temple than the Swamp Temple. Oh well. The only downside of not having a sword is that you may not be able to whack this owl statue here on the head. Anyway. The temple guard is gone and the blizzard is raging. I wonder if we can see a little bit more like that. My, you're a big one. Yeah. We need to do something about that. And we have just the means to kill a Goron. everything all right little buddy wanna have a little sleep sweet and then he fell off the mountain and died 
And that's a huge crater in this wake. Because, yay. So let's see here, anything helpful? And the last one contains a fairy. I'm gonna take that one. Just in case. Now, let us see if we can't get to um, the temple without being brutally murdered by snowballs. Also, yes, they become bigger as they um, roll over thing. It's almost as if they were collecting snow. So this is a kind of neat area. With the way it, the camera handles it. Oh snap! It's night time and the white guys come out. They're kind of like the black guys, but white. Doesn't make them any better. And they look like changed snowflakes. Good job, white guy. That's what you did, you monster. And with that, we reach Snow Peak Temple. In a speedrun, there's actually a way of getting into here without um, putting the Goron to sleep. Thus having a snowstorm all the time. Ah! Didn't quite get all of them with my stomp. Oh well. Spoiler, you will need the Goron to move this. Oh well. Come here, you little weenie. Oh yeah, kill the wolf in two hits. That's kind of nice. Why would you even want to use your sword in here? Now as for this room, there is a couple things to do here. First of all, we have a fairy down there. All oh, right, we can't get her because there's an invisible barrier, I guess you could say, in between the two things. By the way, Gorons, invulnerable to lava. That's kind of nice. Think a Deku gets instant death from fire. <laughs> Makes sense too, but oh well. So let's see here. Is there an invisible roof again? No, there is not. Oh come here. Silly fairy. Now we cross dress a little and the fairies are attracted to us for some weird reason. Will you come here already? Okay, that's all fairies in this room. So let me get my Goron mask back out. Otherwise the lava would kind of hurt a little bit. Excellent. And for some weird reason, which I do not, which I certainly do not object to, the Goron climbs ladders just as fast as Link. Well, so for our next trick, we need to get over there. That's gonna be. Shut up! I wanted to look around. So we need to time ourselves with the first guy. Because if the other th other three us, not so much of a problem. Also, that would have been hard. So we can't really do a whole lot else in here. However, we can jump over there with a nice stunt. Good job, Link. Let's see here. Can we kill the rat? 
Yes, we can. I didn't, didn't even hurt us for some oh. weird reason. The reason we came here for is this big chest, which should contain the map, if I recall correctly. <clears throat> yeah, it's a map. It's a map. Nice. Anything useful in these boxes? Rupees? Well... I can't argue that they are useless, so... At least there's that. We can't do anything else in this room, though, other than getting this fairy. Because we do not have the means to yet. So, next, let's go over here. This is the main room of the temple. It's a thing. Goes from the basement floor all the way to the third or fourth floor. I forget, but it's one of them. Let's see here, how many floors does this temple have? Yeah. It's a thing. Oh, well. So we can get up there. But I think we do want to go over there through the yellow door first. I do believe, however, we can actually unfreeze that ice with that fire arrow. No? No, we can't. Oh, well. But it's been kind of silly anyway. You smell like secrets. Come on out, come on out. Come one, come all. Oh hey, it's a chest. Don't kick it open, it's all fancy, Link. Don't you have any sense of decency? It doesn't seem like there's any fairies about. When you hear that doof sound, you know you've hit a ball with your blocks. It's kind of useful, but really the place where we want to push these is over there. Pushed it too far. It's actually over here. You can tell because it made a chest appear. Yeah. So there is pots here. Let's see, is there anything interesting in them? Eh, not really. Probably some health and uh, arrows. So, can't do a whole lot else here though. So let's go upstairs. Oh, that leads downstairs, doesn't it? Well. In that case, let's go down. Also, there's a switch here. How nice. Which makes a chest appear in the lava puddle. How quaint. This is looking all kinds of terrible. But the stray fairy saved me. Anything else? Well, there's a switch here, and I don't think I'm going to need to use the switch. So, I'll just tell you what it does. And that switch there, in the ground, that's a fairy gun, that is. Sorry, guys, I just saw that and I thought, hey, I want a fairy, that's kind of nice. This switch in the ground is a stompable one. It's currently unusable. It makes the pillar in the middle. Go to where it is now. Spoilers, it can also rise up. Okay, where did I come from and where do I go? That's the way upward, where we've seen the staircase downward, which is not of too much use to us. And that's just a dead end. It 
it must be possible to um, unfreeze the doors with... You know what, I'm stupid, we just got a small key. With that we can go to back to the entrance and use it there. I wanna see if I can't un... Actually, can't I go and smash the eyes? Now that I think about it. Let me just check that. Nope, no way. But maybe, maybe we can use our deco sticks to melt it. In combination with some fire. Nope, 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 nope. Also, I don't have any um, sword to put my deco sticks away with. But yeah, anyway, with that small key, we kind of need to return to the entrance. Now, to return to the entrance, there are two ways. Either you go the long way, which I'm doing here. Which involves climbing the ladder. Because fun times, ladder climbing. Um, or you can play that song, What Gives You Wings and teleport back to the temple entrance. I prefer this method though. Oh hey there wolf. Go away and die. Yeah. Um, there are wolves in here and I think I'll just kill them off screen in between episodes. Because this episode is almost 20 minutes long after all. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play! Um, let's play Majora's Mask, this is Legion, and farewell!